morning. We have found our way to Princeton, Massachusetts. I had a smile on my face as soon as I made that turn onto Mile Hill Road and saw that big, beautiful Monadnock Mountain behind me. We are in for one heck of a day. We're gonna check out some of the new technology here at Wachusett Mountain. Then we're gonna head over to the NASTAR Ski Racing. I plan on giving it a go myself. It is a huge part of the community up here at Wachusett. That and much more coming up on The Mountain Report. Uh, there is one caveat here I'm going to show you. So you're on a binding. Yeah. We're the, the biggest little ski shop around. There's everything here, literally. From uh, demos, if you need to try before you buy, if you just want to get out on the latest greatest, um, skis and boards, Kelly, backcountry gear, uh, the service shop, absolutely. So if you need a tune-up, if you need a boot worked on, if you need uh, a binding adjusted. Hopefully your day on the hill will be better because you interacted with us. Well, I can't wait to get out on the hill with cool. my newly tuned skis. Yeah, new big blue zoom tune. Yahoo, <laughs> go for it. So snow is the lifeblood of Wachusett Mountain and we need to be constantly on it because down here in Massachusetts, Mother Nature doesn't always cooperate. Every time we come by, you guys are up to something new. Oh yeah, we're what, always upgrading the systems what, around here. What's going on here, Joe? Uh, well, this is our snow right system. We can monitor at the snow depth around here. It, this is actually giving us raw data. This has been great for us. When you see an area that's saying yellow or red, I assume that means you need to do a little bit more snowmaking. Exactly, yeah, yeah. There's a real science to it. I mean, making snow is basically water and air. But once it's on the ground, you really got to be able to move it around and make it work for you. The beauty of machine-made snow, too, is it's much more durable than natural snow. So once you get it down and you get it groomed and packed down, it'll withstand some variables in the weather that um, natural snow doesn't necessarily uh, withstand. So yeah, I mean, you saw the other half of it, it's obviously teamwork, you have your snow making and you have your grooming as well, so if they're looking at their depth measurement devices and relaying that to us, um, everything is depicted on a screen so we know exactly what we are sitting on at that moment in time. So if they're thinking they might need snow here and they're not so sure of it, we can relate to the computer and that will depict to us first hand factual information. There's no guessing. There might be enough snow, there might not be enough snow. So standing here at 2,006 feet above sea level, I always have a difficult decision on my hands first run here at Wachusett. Smith Walton or 10th Mountain Division, two of my favorites. Sometimes tuck into the Oxbow shoot at the bottom, but my absolute favorite cruiser on the mountain is the Conifer Connection. Let's check that out. So I am feeling extra special this morning. I got my skis tuned up in the blue zoom. That machine is amazing. It'll help you get out on the hill faster so you can enjoy more turns all day long. <laughs> New England has always been steeped in the tradition of ski racing, pun intended. Right now we're gonna check out the NASTAR course here at Wachusett Mountain. Let's go. Well, best part about this NASTAR is I'm only competing against myself. Just trying to beat last time's record. Ready? <laughs> and he takes the gold! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fun. The mountain suites are your living room on the slopes. It's just a cool place to hang out right at the on the ski area with whomever you choose to bring, whether it's your family or your workmates or your classmates or your friends. But it is just a, a nice, comfortable, cozy location right here on the slopes of Wachusett. So sometimes downstairs can get pretty busy and and they come up here and it's like a little refuge. It's really nice and they can see everybody outside. They can keep an eye out on their family. They can check up on whomever's out there and then they have a nice meal right on the slopes. You know, having a mountain like this in the heart of Massachusetts, an hour from Boston, it's a great opportunity to give people a mountain experience and they don't have to drive very far to get it. That's really what skiing is all about. You know, this is like a throwback to like the community, the local ski hills that everybody remembers when they were a kid. But it's also got, you know, a sophistication to it. We got the latest in technology, the beautiful base lodge. So we try to give people a vacation-like experience even though they're just coming for the day. Oh, major props to the snowmaking crew here at Wachusett. Every time I'm here, you can't beat the snow quality. You can literally feel it underneath your skis. How fortunate are we to be able to hang out with people that are here to have a good time? And if we can do that, help them do that, how, how lucky are we to be in this business? Just, it's, it's real special. Some, uh, I had a meeting earlier today and the woman said, I heard there was a, a woman who was out singing and dancing out front. Was that you? I'm like, no. <laughs> but I sort of feel that way that, you know, you just want to say, hey, come on in. They were here to just play. What an incredible day we had here on Hill. The sun was out, the snow quality was amazing. We got to make some turns and have some laughs with our good friends here at Wachusett. And hey, well, the sun may be going down. They're still open, so grab your gear, get out here, and make some turns of your own here at Wachusett on the Mountain Report. <laughs> <laughs>